Good morning. Welcome to part three. So we are moving on to the loft. Um, we have to clear the loft, take off the insulation. And um, yes, uh, the iron man, the steel man is going to deliver the steel and uh, that's coming in an hour. We have raised the roof, the dormer is coming to shape, so the work is in progress. So far so good. That's the rich, rich wing. Flow beams all together five beams uh, four flow beams uh, four hours day five meter span six by six and one hours day six by six uh, five meter on the ridge okay let me explain uh, about the structural frame of this house so as I stated on part one and part two of the timber frame house, brick cladding, cavity insulation, then timber frame, that's a structure, that's, that, that's the one 
holding this house so yes um so that that is the brakes and there's a brick cladding it's an ornament it doesn't support it, it doesn't it's not load bearing and um, that's the insulation and uh, out of day six by six sits on um 25 mm ms plate stud wall very strong load bearing good as gold you know it's, it's very strong and um, I would like to let you know it sits on either side uh, it doesn't sit on the front and back of the house or you call all the structure or the timber frame why because the front and back um, has many openings i.e doors uh, windows and uh, all, all openings are there so the structure is not that strong it's not that strong to load bear you know to take the load i would like to notify you about the steel beams on my projects my house i had five steel beams 5.5 meter span six by six i spent about 1400 pounds it's very cheap four on the floor one on the ridge prior to this ridge um it was a simple rafter butt joint so and um, was supported by the purlins and the whole house the tiles the whole tiles weigh around 700 kilos and that's more than a half a ton and that was supported by the purlins and the rafter butt joint the purlins take the half of the load so i have seen many houses going for heavy ridge beam i spoke to a few architects structural engineers why people going for heavy ridge beams they saying they don't get it they don't need it they don't get it maybe is a custom or the builders recommend it or lazy uh, structural engineer <laughs> these are because you don't need a heavy rich beam especially on on the ridge even on the floor you don't need it so i have seen people going for across the road there's one going for 15 by 12 heavy one you need a crane to install it this one was carried by four people it's, it's light is about 30 kilo a meter so four people can easily carry it 5.5 meter wide so think about it the whole um my uh, my five beams cost me about 14 and a pounds i've known people spending about three thousand pound four thousand pound just on the steel beams for their project you don't need it so speak to your architect speak to your structural engineer ask them why do you need heavy steel beams you don't need it you know imagine um major all the houses prior to the loft conversion is a timber beam eight by four a simple timber beam on that they replace with heavy beams you don't need it six by six will do the job and it's cheap for my project five beams 5.5 meter span cost me about 1400 pounds hope this helped you thank you